In today's video, I'm going to share some of my favorite small space organizing tips, especially if you have a very small budget. Hi, my name is Abby Arson and organizing is what I do. Oh, she's a dork. Okay. Hey, and welcome back. I'm here with Abby in Izzy's room. We are actually, I wasn't going to film this, but then I was like, why the heck not? We're giving her a, like a mini makeover. You know, Izzy doesn't like being on camera, but she asked if we could change her room up because I guess it makes her feel like kind of depressed. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is the number one reason why I wanna move. I hate that she's in the basement. I feel bad. This is a very small room. It's only nine feet by 10 and a half feet. So it's tiny. It's, there's it's like bugs. a dungeon. It's like a dungeon. So Abby's going to help me. We're going to give it a big makeover on a crazy small budget. I want him to give the biggest bang for the buck, right? So what we're going to do is actually rearrange the furniture, which is hard. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to rearrange the furniture. We're actually going to start by moving her desk into the closet. One of my all-time favorite tips for really maximizing a small space is to utilize the closet, not just for storage. This works really well. If you have a spare bedroom that you're using as an office, it probably has a closet that's filled with junk. If you took off those closet doors and moved the desk into the closet space, you could still have storage up top with additional shelving, but now it frees up floor space in the actual room for something else. Maybe you could turn it into a spare bedroom or a workout space. My point is, you don't just have to use those extra closets for storage. Turning it into an office space gives you extra function in your room. It already feels bigger, right? Yep. There's so much room. But there's not a lot of place dance. to put the bed. So we're actually gonna like take this down and swing the bed here. And Izzy loves to read. She's like a book nerd. And she's kind of like, what did you call it? The inspiration for this room? Like a witch, but a spring witch. Spring witch. We want it to feel like pretty, but also like weird. Weird. That's a good word. Yep. Cause she's pretty and weird, you know? So anyways, we're gonna just move around the furniture right now. We're building shelving and we have like just a few hours to do it. So first step, move the bed. Hands down, the biggest impact that you can make in a space is just rearranging furniture. It's fun, but most of all, it's completely free. If you feel like you're tired of your bedroom or your living room or any space in your house, just rearrange the furniture a little bit. This, I promise you, is going to like refresh your space and refresh your motivation. We got to take apart this bed, Abby. I'll go get the flathead screwdriver and we'll take it. I'll entertain your fans. Sprinkler. Sprinkler. It's hard to entertain people. I apologize. <laughs> for her. Abby and I are already exhausted and we haven't really done anything yet. So what we decided to do before we move everything in, we're just gonna quickly touch up this wall with paint because it's super gross. We have the same color. I'm just hoping it kind of blends. I don't want to paint the whole room. I just want to touch up the parts that look bad. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. And then we're going to move everything in. Do we got this? We got this. Do we got this? We got or this. You got this. We got this. I'm not a painter. You're going to learn. Have you ever seen, have you seen me after painting? One yes. time I got it on my stomach. <laughs> yeah, you're messy. But you know what? That's how you learn. I got paint everywhere and on everything, and then I stepped in it. Abby, how much paint did you get on the floor? None. Look at me. I'm clean. Oh, my God. There's so much paint. I don't even know it's how on my feet. How? I don't even know how you managed how? to do that. How did I do this? Like, I, you do this all the time. And oh, I didn't, my God. It's I didn't so get much paint anywhere. on the floor. It's because I stepped in a big one and then just, like, didn't realize. You could be the painter in the house from now on. Okay, time to move the bookcases in and hope they fit. You ready, Ab? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. 
So this is the peel and stick wallpaper we got. But my fear is we don't have enough. Anytime I'm organizing a really small space, especially for a visual organizer, I wanna have open shelving. And I'm gonna talk about the shelves in a second, but let's talk about cube storage. Cube storage is amazing for visual organizers because first of all, it's crazy cheap, but second of all, it doesn't take up a lot of floor space. It allows you to go up and it kind of can do double duty. Like in Izzy's room, we're putting the hamster on top, but think about replacing dressers or other storage pieces for open shelving like cube shelving. You're gonna save a ton of money, but more importantly, it's really functional for visual organizers. Now it's just me and you. Miss Clarebug's gone now. I'm taking over now. This is my show. My show. We don't build boxes. We sleep. Are you serious? <laughs> Watch this. Woo! It just slides out. You got like everything, everything. You got styrofoam. You got. Oh my god, look at all these little things. Like... Abby and I took a quick, much deserved break for a little shopping trip for accessories, and then it was right back to work. Okay, this is my absolute favorite part. We found these lamps on Amazon, super, super cheap, but they have a plug. So what I'm gonna do, what Joe's gonna do, is actually install them on the side of this so that she has like cute reading lights, maybe out a little bit, Joey, like this. So she has like cute reading lights. And it's like, it's like coolness. I'm very excited about this. And it's gonna look, it's gonna look like a built-in but on a budget, right, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> he's not sure how he's gonna install these. That's why he's making that face. No idea. But it's gonna be amazing. I'm excited. I have these leftover sort of magazine racks that are perfect for Izzy for all of her homework and paperwork that was just a crumpled mess absolutely everywhere. Hanging something like this on the wall, especially in a small space for visual organizers, is perfect. Now she has a spot as soon as she comes in for all of her paperwork. It's all organized and this doesn't cost very much at all. In the closet, I took some leftover organizing pieces that I had around the house and put all of her bathroom products that she uses every day so it's super visual. And I used 3M strips to attach like jewelry organizers right to the wall so it's really easy for her to see everything she has. So the room is done. It's actually looking really cute and it didn't take very long or a lot of money to put this together. In total, I spent $280 and that included the shelving and the cute little lamps and even a couple throw pillows too. So super small budget, but the thing I really wanted to talk about was this shelving. If you have a small space, whether it's a bedroom or an office, Walmart shelving is like hands down the cheapest shelving I can find. I actually used this first in another makeover for Shauna's office. It looked so good. I was like, I bet I could do that in Izzy's room. Such a really inexpensive way of basically framing out the bed, creating a headboard. We just went to the hardware store and got a really cheap piece of wood for the top here, added some brackets, and it feels like a really built-in custom piece. But now, instead of just side tables, she can still set her drink and charge her phone and all of that on the shelving, but it goes all the way up for all of her books and all of her knickknacks. So if you have a small space, going for inexpensive shelving like this is a must.
I hope you're feeling inspired to give one room in your house maybe like a little update today without spending a lot of time or money. You can do things like peel and stick wallpaper, add some new shelving, or just rearrange furniture. Izzy doesn't want to be on camera, but just having this refreshed, having a new space made her feel so much better, so much more just relaxed in her bedroom and I want the same for you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget if you haven't already to hit that like and subscribe for more makeover videos each and every week and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So my house has officially been on the market for a few weeks. We've had nobody call to come through. No one. We did have an open house. We had a lot of people like come in zero offers. <clears throat> I'm panicking a little bit. I have a feeling, this is what I think. I have a feeling it's because I stained everything black like it's the Adams Family House. And all of you have made suggestions like, hey Cass, just paint your kitchen white. Yeah, friends, that sounds amazing. Except not only did I stain the kitchen black, but I stained the railings of our stairs black. I've stained the doors black. I've stained the windows black. I've stained the trim black. I've stained the baseboards black. If there was a piece of wood in this house, I have stained it black like a crazy person. Where was Joe? Where was anyone who could have said, put the paintbrush down, Cass? But now here we are. So the truth is to have someone in and paint everything white would take a really long time and also be very expensive. So I don't know what to do. Do I wait for the person who also kind of likes black everything? Do I paint? Do I lower the price by a bazillion dollars? The point of this is I may or may not be panicking. There could be a lot of reasons why the house isn't selling. That's just my feeling of why nobody wants to come and look at it. Obviously in the pictures they can see that everything's like Adam's family black. Um, I. I am covered in stress. I have a stress hive that I've covered with makeup right here. I'm just like, this may kill me, friends. But I'm going to keep you posted, and I'll see you guys next time.